Okay, so I thought I would just show you what has arrived in this week's Ocado shop. I have, I think I've, I've forgotten a couple of things, but I'll just run through them with you. So I've run out of pasta. I always go for the Kazareki pasta. I have this for like lunch. Um, and usually we have like Monday night pasta night. So yeah, I picked up another packet of those. I got some raspberries and blueberries, eggs, um, breaded chicken. I've got these for wraps and also for a salad. Jam, to strawberry jam to go with the crumpets. And then I got maple syrup to go with Jamie's waffles. He has waffles and I quite fancy crumpets at the minute for breakfast i got party rings jamie he loves these and just yeah loves them as a little snack he takes them into work um i got some spice crackers because i'm going to make a sweet and sour chicken i got mini poppadoms um not because i'm doing a curry but i actually really like these these are like my one of my cravings and then i got sweet potatoes chili con carne mix and some beef mints i'm going to do like a sweet potato wedge um like chili con carne loaded wedges with that and then I've got my white and brown microwave rice chicken. So I'm going to do sweet and sour chicken. And then I just needed to get a rice vinegar and sesame oil for that. And then the eggs are also for the egg fried rice. And then also got some spinach for my wraps. Saturdays, because we're going to do like a halloumi and chicken salad one night. Um, I got this for, I'm doing like an orzo pasta pasta tonight. So I got some parmesan and then cheese for wraps. Halloumi for the salad croutons for the salad um oranges just for me to have for my lunches and snacks i got this garlic and herb philadelphia so i'm going to do this with tomatoes chicken spinach parmesan and like an orzo thing tonight um and then i got this some olive oil because i've run out and i got this which i absolutely love i had it at jamie's parents at the weekend if that's going to focus it's lemon and raspberry squash it literally tastes like a starbucks refresher um so yeah i got some of that tomatoes don't know if i've already said that um my yogurts i like to have these for lunch and then i got this which i like to have for breakfast with granola and strawberries which i have forgotten so i'll just have to use raspberries and stuff until i get some strawberries these are jamie's yogurts um butter because we'd run out some apple slices for me to snack on these because i really just crave ice creams at the minute and these are so good um and obviously really good calorie wise and then i also got some ice because every single drink that i have has to have ice and be super cold and then i've just got this ready because i'm literally gonna make some beans on toast for lunch because i'm absolutely starving hi guys welcome back to a, another vlog i just thought i'd vlog over the next couple of days this week um i had quite a lot of requests to show like what i eat in a day um and things like that so i thought i would instead of doing it like in a day because i've already had breakfast this morning <laughs> um i would kind of show you today and tomorrow um what i eat in a day it is currently wednesday i've had what well, had a fairly chilled week so far monday i was filming and catching up on work bits yesterday i had um my midwife appointment my 16 week midwife appointment but i'm actually actually i'm actually 18 weeks nearly because um since my 12 week scan i've been moved forward yes yeah, so my due date's closer basically so yeah she had to update that today so now my appointment should all be on time hopefully um, so yeah, I had that yesterday, that went well, I had baby boy's heartbeat, um, like properly for the first time, we've heard it on a scan before, but literally for like 10 seconds, but she obviously wanted to listen to it for longer, um, yesterday, just to make sure that was all right, so that was lovely, um, and then I had Pilates yesterday, and I also sort of threw all my drawers, because I needed to do like another declutter of things that I can't fit in, because my bump's obviously getting bigger, so yeah, I did that yesterday and that took up quite a lot of the day but that's all nice and tidy in there now and then today like I said it's Wednesday another sunny gorgeous day I am just got ready and I need to film a reel um and some other bits and then I am gonna try and go to the gym later and go on the treadmill and just do like a 20 30 minute walk um because i really want to get back into doing something like that because i do pilates once a week at the moment which is really good for like um stretching and just my body in general and um, in preparation for like labor and stuff um and yeah i want to start going on the treadmill again just do a little light inclined walk on there and 
yeah so and we're going to go view a house later so someone asked me on instagram if we'll be moving and we are going to be moving because although we can probably stay in the apartment if we don't find somewhere straight away i don't really want to be in the apartment for that long when the baby's here so the baby's due in november so if we found something now that would be great if we don't it's not the end of the world but yeah i would obviously prefer to be in a house rather than the apartment when we have a baby even though it will be doable for around the first six months i think when they're in our room it's lunchtime, and i'm gonna have a burrito today so i actually made up a chili con carne last night we had chili con carne on like sweet potato wedges which is like one of my favorite meals ever it's so nice so i always save a little bit of chili to have in a burrito the next day so i've just got some cheese wraps and i'll put some spinach in there as well i don't have any sour cream left which disappoints me but yeah this is gonna be i'm just gonna heat this up um now and then pop it in a wrap with the cheese and everything So it's a little bit later we just had um the viewing tonight cancelled which did i mention that i actually got baby brain honestly i can't remember if i spoke to you about that the viewing or holly or my i don't know or my sister i don't actually know i have no idea so if i didn't we were supposed to have a house viewing tonight um but it's just been cancelled so that's annoying the owner is not well or something so that is fine i am just chilling here with rouse i've just been on my laptop doing some work and some edits on my like to know it um i've just had this bag arrive which is stunning um it's been a week of good bags actually so let me show you it it's from demelia is that how you pronounce it how gorge is this i just thought that'd be really really nice with um like a cream outfit or an all black outfit and it's a really nice size as well Oh, and it has a longer strap. So yeah, that is absolutely stunning. Thank you very much, Demelia, for that one. Good morning. God, I look so tired today. Look at my eye bags. I didn't have the best sleep last night. Um, I was gonna go to my friend Holly's, but I've decided just to have a chill day at home. Because yeah, this is not pretty. <laughs> oh my God, that's so bad. Um, I'm having a bit of an organized day. This is my version of a chill day at home. I obviously can't just sit still. So I've got these three boxes here that I need to go through. I need to sort through all of this. So some of this is stuff that I'm going to pop on Vinted. Some of it is things that I just can't fit in at the moment. So they're going to go away until after the baby's born. So yeah, I'm going to have a little sift through these now. I've got the Kardashians on to keep me entertained while doing it and yeah i just want to have a really good sort through because i feel like i have a lot of stuff my head up <laughs> my hair up because i was getting way too hot but i have one two three to wear all sorted through photos taken of everything that i need to put on vintage i've got no clothes on the floor now so that feels like a good job done it's kind of like nearly two o'clock i think i think it's up there i can't bother to get up but i've got a little bit of a headache so i'm going to down some water and just sit down for an hour um because yeah i need to listen to my body these days with a little bub growing in here so you just got this bikini here from zara home which i really love i was really missing a black bikini so it's like black with um beige crochet and then this is the bottoms so yeah I really like that i'm very happy with that and it's not actually that bad 17 for the bottoms 19 for the top so yeah really happy with that and beach headrests 
from Zara, but I thought they came with like a cushion inside. So I'm slightly confused. I need to contact them because it looks like it doesn't say cover on the online. It just says headrest. So to me, that means that there should be a cushion inside. Oh, it just says there, cushion cover. So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to find a cushion cover to go in there. So they might have to go back if I can't. Um, but anyway, this is what I got for baby boy. I actually got these in four to six months. Um, I got some a little cute pack of muslin cloths there. And then I got this white bodysuit. These look huge compared to like the zero to one. So I've got a white bodysuit and a grey bodysuit. That was a pack. Um, and then I got this little top set. How cute. We've got a navy and a um, beige. And then I got the matching leggings to go with that. Super, super cute. And then I got this pack all in four to six months as well so i might get these in a smaller size potentially as well because i feel like these are quite handy yeah what are they four to six months so yeah i thought i would get like leggings and stuff for that age range because probably up to like four months i was probably gonna keep them a baby great oh and i got a pack of i don't know if this is gonna come out hold on Two packs of socks in the smallest size. So yeah, we have just the rib socks, which I thought were cute. So yeah, that's today's little baby haul. They're just honestly adorable. And if I'm on H&M, it's just like so hard not to pick up some little bits. Um, but I am writing like... Um, God, I literally look atrocious today. Um, I am writing down what I buy because I don't want to buy too much um, in each size. Do we? No. Well, I'm 18 weeks today, actually. Little bump there. Good morning, guys. I have just, well, not just had a shower. I've had a shower and washed my hair. It's kind of air dried a little bit itself but I thought I would show you what products I use because they are literally like my holy grail also the washing machine is on so please excuse that um yeah that's what I need so always love the tangle teaser scalp brush oh it just feels so good to get into the scalp I think you can use this with your um Shampoo in, but I just like to use it when I get out to be fair, and I'll obviously work the products in. God, I've literally let my hair dry probably a bit too much <laughs> today. Um, I usually do my hair first, but I was just feeling a bit hot, so I was like, I'll do my makeup first. The Color Wow Dream Coat, I absolutely swear by this, and I just put this like on my roots and down, I would say. And I was like, oh, what's her own raving about? Like, this is rubbish. And I wasn't using enough. So bear that in mind, you have to use a lot of product. So I'm just going to work that in. And with this product as well, um, you have to kind of apply. It doesn't work till you apply heat. So when I do this, I'll obviously dry my hair straight away. I'm going to air wrap it today as well. Just because it's easier. And then on the ends, I always use the Olaplex Bond Smoother. I actually use two kind of, I only use a little bit of this. I need to get a new one of these because they have new bottles, I think. These bottles are honestly the worst invention ever. Okay, so I literally use about that amount on both sides and just really focus this on the ends. In with this bonding concentrate as well. Probably does the same thing, but I just really like them together. Um, this one is a leave in treatment and it's the Redkin Acidic Bonding Concentrate. I also use the Redkin Conditioner. I don't use the shampoo anymore, I did, but it's not pregnancy safe because it's got acidic acid in, so I can't use that anymore. Also, running out of this, always run out of products. Um, at the same time, and I find myself, I use more of this than I do the, the Olaplex one. I just love the smell of this. It 
just smells great. Extreme anti-snap, which again, I'm also nearly running out of. That is gonna be a huge, big, fat, look fantastic order. Um, also, I get, I still have my discount code for look fantastic if you guys want to use it. It is LF Rachel H. I will be using it on my own order. I don't know if that's allowed, but obviously when it's 25% off, I think that's what it is. I'm gonna be using it because it's a very, gonna be a very expensive, look fantastic order for me. <laughs> Cause I need all hair stuff. I run out of most of my skincare. It's just one of those top ups. Okay, so that is all the products that I use in my hair. And I'm now gonna air wrap it. Oh, that took me a lot longer than expected. I have to have a snack break in between and a breather. <laughs> Pregnancy problems. But anyway, air wrap is done. I'm just going to brush through it all. So it's like a nice little bouncy blow dry. I'm going to keep this. I usually keep this roller in while I do my makeup. Um, but I've obviously did my makeup first. I'm just going to keep this in for a little bit longer. I need to get changed. I think I'm going to go for... Oh. Oh. To sit down. Um, I think I'm going to go for a maxi dress today. No change there. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to head to B&M and M&S to get the snacks for the car journey from M&S. I'm also going to get my lunch for today because I've got nothing in. I also need to get cleaning products. We're going up to the Leicester house tonight. Um, so yeah, I need to get some cleaning products for there because we've just had it. We basically had, I don't know if I've already mentioned it in this vlog already. I keep doing that. Um, but we've basically just had to, our tenants are out and we've just basically had to do loads of work to the house because they trashed it. Um, so that's had all new carpet. Um, it's had a cleaner there, gardener, all of that's been there, but we're going up this weekend because there's a few painting things and it's only, it's like a little job. So instead of paying for someone to do it, Jamie and his dad are going to do it. So we're meeting them up there. My battery is flashing. So I'm going to charge this while I go to MLS and B&M and I'll just film on my phone actually. Oh my God. Okay, gonna be able to be propped there. Let me just pop you there for a minute. Oh, I'm so hot. The aircon in this car is broke. And we've been trying to get it in. And it's just not replying to me. That is not what you need. Anyway, got this little Kinder Delice thing because I'm absolutely starving. And um, I'm going into MS now. So, not a good thing to go into MS when you're starving. Hmm. A little cake bar just hire me over for lunch wow that's really good this glow is sweat <laughs> oh my god this car has been so hot it's literally been 30 degrees while i've drove back and like i said it's got an air con so i've literally had to strip off um and baby boy did not want to wait till i got home let me hold this switch because it might have the speaker hold me holding the speaker um baby boy did not want to wait home for me to have lunch like i was in after my little cake i went into m s and i was like oh my god i'm so hungry like i need to eat now so i got um an m s hot spicy meatball wrap and then i've had that and i've also got some crisps which i'm going to go enjoy upstairs because I wanted to have a nice little chat with you guys while I was eating my lunch in the car, but the guy next to me was literally doing the same thing with his window down as well. And I was like, well, that's a bit awkward. Oh, and I also got this from the Fresh Set Counter, mango, pineapple, and passion fruit smoothie. But it's got a bit warm, so I'm gonna go put it in the fridge and then have that with my crisps. I also got a yum nut and some strawberries. Right, let's go in the apartment and get this fan on because it is hot. And I love the heat, don't get me wrong, but not when you air, when, not when you don't have aircon in your car. That's gross. Okay, 
we are back. The apartment is nice and cool, which is good. We don't actually usually get the sun shining in till about four o'clock. So I'm gonna put the fan on now in preparation, even though we will be leaving at around five. So yeah, I just don't wanna be hot. It's a very, it's hot one out there today, Ralph, isn't it? I've just taken him out quickly. Luckily outside the apartment, there's like a little shaded grass area. So we just had a little wander around there um, for him to have do his business. Um, so I've just come back, I'm gonna have my little snacks but I thought I would just do a quick little where should I plop plop you prop you not plop you <laughs> um and fan as well so that's great so quite boring bits from H&M H&M B&M honestly guys you're really actually gonna have to bear with me in this pregnancy I just cannot get my words right so as you saw in the car I got these which were great I will be taking those on the car journey tonight um so I'd run out of washing um, pods, conditioner, and what are they called? The boosters. And my mum mentioned that she used fairy dividends and it smelled really good. It does actually smell really good. I have always been an avid lover of Daz pods with blue comfort. Like, I just love that smell. It's not too strong. It's like a really subtle smell. Um, but my mum mentioned fairy and then I thought, as it's non-bio, and obviously we'll probably use this for baby boy. I thought maybe we'll try and start using it now. The pods, I got the, ooh, is that the same scent then? I'm not sure. I got these, the fairy scent boosters. These are almond milk and manuka honey scent. Oh, they smell really, really good. Um, and then I also got the fairy, um, Outdoorable. Washing up liquid, really boring to take to Leicester. I also got a pack of cloths to take to Leicester. I then got some flash bicarb of soda for spray for here. I love this. This smells so nice. Um, I then also got these just because I was hungry and I love a Milky Way. Milky Way biscuits. So I'm going to take those to Leicester to have. And then I also got a pack of these springtime, I don't know what they smell of, wipes. I don't know if I'm gonna take those to Leicester or have them here, because I've, I've run out of wipes here. Um, Cause it shouldn't be too dirty, really. Um, because they've had a professional cleaner in and they have to pay like 300 pounds for this professional cleaner because that's how trashed the place was. Um, so, yeah it should be all right and then there's a stain on one of the carpets like a massive stain and although we've had to replace like most of the carpets they've not replaced the one where the stain is and they said the stain is just wear and tear um whereas yeah they've it's literally like bright red i do not know what they've dropped in it so i thought i would give it a go and try and take these um the carpet care spot on spray because it doesn't need hoovering and we don't have a hoover up there and a lot of them you need to hoover. So I thought that one was a good one and then we'll just bring that back because I'll use that here. And then I also got Zaflora to take up to Leicester because we're gonna take up the floor mop um, just to give the floors, just so it smells nice when people are viewing basically because now someone's not living there, I don't want it to smell like, you know when it just gets that like smell when it's not been lived in, like damp is now I think. Um, and then I also got these because I thought they'd be quite good for breakfast um, if I fancy this or croissants tomorrow because yeah you just obviously put hot water in so I thought a couple of those and either Jamie's mum or dad can have one of those if they want them or I did get some croissants from MS and then I also got myself some jelly tots for the car so I got my car snacks very healthy <laughs> it's a plain Jane yum nut because they are my favourite and then um I got this to have as like a little snack later. British strawberries in a chocolate dipping sauce. Yum. And then these are my all time favorite. Oh, and these need to go in the Leicester bag actually. Loaded millionaire brownies. They're great. And then I just got some two packs of normal croissants and then a pack of pan au chocolate. 